Hey everybody, it's Charles here with Cedar Hill Fire Protection District. And today, we're gonna do a video walk around on one of our trucks, show you guys what we're working with. Right here we have our 2018 Freightliner uh, M112 cab built by Pierce. It is has a Detroit DD13 rated at 470 horsepower and 1650 foot-pounds of torque. This truck carries 3,000 gallons of water. It has a Watrous 1,000 gallon per minute pump. And it's pretty awesome. This is one of our uh, newer trucks in the fleet. It's got a lot of cool options. We're gonna walk you around and, and let you check out some cool stuff on this truck and kind of kind of give you a grand tour. <clears throat> We'll start up here in the engine compartment. We're going to pop the hood open for you real quick. We'll kind of show you this fantastic Detroit DD13 engine. The hood on this truck tilts forward. And there we have it. There's the power plant that gets this baby going down the road. It's pretty neat. Makes it nice to work on, uh, check the fluids and stuff on a weekly basis, having that cab tilt forward. We can really get in there and inspect the truck and make sure everything's ship shape. So moving back on the truck here, we're gonna take a look in the cab real quick. This is the cab. We've got lots of switches and buttons and stuff over here that control all the lights and different things on the truck. Got a radio. Got some more switches and stuff up here with the siren box. We've got these headsets here. We put those on when we're driving. There's a lot of noise in the cab from the engine, the lights, or the, the sirens and stuff. And that's so we can talk to each other and talk to dispatch and hear everything. Got some flashlights mounted in the cab. Now this truck uh, has regular seats in it. It does not have the air packs mounted in the seats like some of the other trucks, but uh, that's just due to some restrictions on space. <clears throat> Moving back here, this is the pump panel. This is where the engineer does all his work. Got some gauges up here that measure the intake pressure and the discharge pressure. Different switches that handle different, different things on the truck. We got our throttle. Uh, and all of our gauges. Each, each manifold or each uh, outlet on the truck has a gauge so we can see what pressure we're pumping out, what kind of pressure we're bringing in. We can control the uh, flow of water with these levers here. They pull out and push in. Some of them go up and down and just do different things. A lot of training that goes into uh, learning how to run one of these trucks. And all our guys are trained and know how to do it. This engineer or this compartment here is what we call the engineer's compartment. Most of our trucks are set up the same. This is going to be the, the first uh, compartment right behind the driver's seat. And in here we've got a lot of uh, hose adapters and different things that we use to move water. Uh, that's called a low water strainer. We've got a manifold and different wrenches and stuff. That's for turning hydrants off and on this wrench up here. And uh, you know, just some different things that we use on the fire ground. This is all water related, so anything in this compartment is used to move water. Now on the side of this truck, you're gonna see a couple of little doors here. And this is where we keep spare air bottles. So a lot of our trucks have these. Put a, this is where we keep our spare air. It's not oxygen, it's just air. Uh, and then on this truck, instead of having like I said, the, the seats with the uh, air packs built into them. The air packs are actually stored in these compartments here on the side. Make them quick to get to. We've got another air bottle compartment here. This compartment, we got some hand tools, rope, tarps, salvage tarps, different tools, a little fire extinguisher back there, stuff like that. Smaller compartments, there's not a lot in there. In the back here, this is what's called the dump valve. Now the dump valve can swivel. Uh, we just pull this pin up. Go ahead, Jared, and 
show them how that's done. So we can back up and, and dump water if we need to into a, a thing that we call a porta tank and we'll show you that here in a few minutes as well. Uh, we can pull up, we can back up to it. We can pull up to it on the either side of the truck, so on the right side or the left side. You'll be able to swivel that. And there's this big valve here. It's called a Newton quick dump valve. And uh, there's a switch. We just flip the switch and it opens that valve up and water just comes pouring out of there. It's pretty cool. It gets the job done really quickly so that way we can dump water and, and get moving on down the road. Back here as well, we've got some more hydrant wrenches and different things uh, for the engineer. This is what's called hard suction. And we got some pipe poles in here. A lot of uh, good, good utilization of space when they design these trucks. They always try to fit stuff everywhere you can, can get something. Another section of hard suction in here, another pipe pole. Up there on the top of this hose bed, under that tarp, there's a thousand feet of supply line, so we can use that to supply other trucks and different things on the fire ground. Back here, we've got some extra sections of hose for whatever we need to use it for, whether we need to set up a fill site at a fire hydrant, supply another truck, uh, or just another truck on the fire ground needs extra hose. We've got that there. We've got another bottle, another air pack, another bottle here. And we got this compartment. In here, we've got some different tools that we use on the fire ground. Drywall hooks, axes. We've got these big lights down here that we can set up as mobile light tower. We've got a fan for doing ventilation. A little decon kit, another axe. And up here, we got a, a pike pole or a uh, halogen bar up on the side of the truck. That's a forcible entry tool. Over here we got the other side of the pump panel. We've got some discharges and intakes over here. I'm going to have Jared turn on the ignition. I'm going to show you guys this awesome ladder rack. So these ladders are really high on the truck. And uh, for guys like me that are a little bit vertically challenged, we got this cool system. Where we can drop this down. Makes it nice and easy to get those ladders off and get them up to the house where we need them. Now on the other side, you guys may have noticed, up top it looks a little different. We've got what's called a porta tank. So this thing's a big, uh, big final swimming pool, basically, with a metal frame and it comes out of here and it folds out kind of like an accordion. And this is an electric porta tank rack. So sometimes they'll just slide them up in the hose bed and mount them on different ways. But putting it this way makes it easy for two guys to be able to lower this down, get this right off the truck and, and set up. And then, then we can use this cool dump valve back here to fill it up with water. And then we can have a pumper like the one over there. It can do what we call draft. And that will be pulling water out of that uh, port -a tank and supplying our fire or whatever's going on. So that's our tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer them as soon as we see them. Um, and so we want to know what you guys want to see next. So would you like a tour of our EMS slash brush truck or would you like a tour of the pumper next? Let us know in the comments, and uh, we look forward to hearing from everybody.